Hello everyone, winter is here in Canada. It's here and it's not here, it's on and off. It's never the same uh, every year with the changes, the drastic changes now in the weather. Here sometimes it goes all drastically uh, wintry early and sometimes we go till December, even near Christmas time, even January without even getting any snow, which are very rare occurrences, but now with the climate changing, which, which I believe is climate change because we're killing the planet, the pollution, the pollution, uh, the planet's uh, rejuvenating. It's, it's um, you know, having a rebirth, if you want. It's cleansing itself, hopefully. And, uh, you know, but of course, it's going to, we're in for some maybe drastic weather. We're talking about geomagnetic changes, uh, polarity shifts, and the polarity, which nobody knows, can, can it take 2,000 years or even 12,000 years for it to occur? But does that mean it's going to be... Um, you know, quiet for 12,000 years and then all of a sudden for three days, we're gonna get this drastic shift and uh, uh, some of us could die, who knows? We really don't know, it it can be scary for some. I still, it just intrigues me. You know, don't worry guys, many of us are gonna live. Of course, some people are gonna be in dangerous situations, obviously, some will be in oceans, some will be on, you know, places where maybe not the best moments to be uh, with this climate change, but anyways, Speaking of climate, let's talk about the surface of the moon. I got the moon last night. This is footage in February. Looking more and more, there's a Rima Hygienist crater right on top there. Looking more and more at um, the changes on the surface. And let me tell you something. There's a change every uh, month, sometimes every two months. Um, the change that we're seeing is um, that haze on the surface sometimes is drastically thicker and the craters seem to be um, look smokier if you want and I'll start showing some of those comparisons more and more as we um, go through the year again as we've progressed year number four now so, hey last night's footage was pretty trippy because the Terminator line was on top in a really really odd place um, I'll tell you uh, at the moment that we fall into yesterday's footage just a bit more here on this uh, these cool craters along the Terminator line, of course, and this was in the month of February on a very cold night, probably minus 20. It was cold last night, but I did get some moon. Thanks for watching, everyone. So now let's go see last night's moon, which was November 9th, 2019, and check out the tilt. Well guys, this is what it would be like live streaming and watching the moon. You hear trains, you hear a bunch of people sometimes screaming, and cars going by, dogs barking. But it's fun, but uh, it's getting cold. It is getting cold, and I'm going to try to show you guys as much as I can this winter because I, uh, a few of my community members really appreciated um, seeing the snow. And that's what it looks like live streaming. When I when I say snow, I mean people like seeing when I get snowstorms, I often show the, the big amounts of snow we get down here, and we'll be watching that. Look at the drastic change. The north side is now over in the east, literally. The west side, I mean, it's, it's crazy. The west side, Tycho now, the bottom up. We're gonna go see a lot of close-ups all around uh, the Terminator line because uh, guess what? Beyond the South Pole, there's a couple of new craters uh, in the darkness that are now reappearing. 
which again, libration, that uneven wobble. It, look at it, sinus iridum, not only is it north, it's going northeast, sinus iridum. Look at Mare Serenitatis uh, on the bottom, the big mare right here, the, the lines is going up and down, uh, that's usually going up and down where Bessel is, is going east and west and not north and south. So we're seeing further than we usually see on the outer limits beyond the terminator line because of libration, that uneven wobble of the moon, which in my mind, it always remains that, whoa, at one point, is it going to wobble so far that it's going to stick and just keep rotating and that that, that could be the shift, right? I mean, who knows? <laughs> I mean, I don't even think science knows themselves. We've got a lot of intelligent people doing a lot of a lot of work and stuff, but they're still just speculating and theorizing. Look at Mare Serenitatis, how different it is in only a few hours apart. But now let's look at it drastically with uh, different years, different months, 
and we see Mare Serenitatis basically pointing in every direction at one point. Tycho in the bottom is just veered off completely. Here, the Chrysium Basin, just three days apart, you could see a drastic change. So that's one heck of a shift, what, natural or not. And there she is, Mare Serenitatis, best sell with that line going through it. Are there any changes on the surface? Yeah, sure they are. Um, the colors are very, very changing and different all the time. But the Terminator line, there's a whole bunch of things to take into consideration. But either way, we're documenting some of them and we're viewing some of the changes. Thanks for watching, everyone. Well, it really does look like cloud cover, right? All between those high elevated mountainous areas, we can see a lot of smog. The John Prater, thanks so much for your generous contributions, man. I got your name up on the videos. Thanks for being a part of the community, bro, and for following. This is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. <laughs>